Okay, good morning class. So today we're looking at our first paper for revision for this year. No, not for the year, but for our revision um, sector or section before our exam, final exams. Okay, so uh, this paper was said by Mr. Cat others in 2020. Okay. So let's go. So in question one it says, so in this, in this video we're going to cover question one to question four, no? and then tomorrow is going to be the balance of paper one. Okay. So this is the grade nine, uh, paper one, November 2020. Okay, so the current grade 11 is of this paper. Okay, so let's go. So we are told that choose from the list two numbers considered non-real or undefined. Non-real or undefined. So the two numbers are going to be firstly nine, nine over zero and Negative, the root of negative 9. Do you all agree with that? Yes, so if you put that in the calculator, yes, you see what you get. Yes, give me a chance. Okay? Okay, so um, the square root of negative 9 is math error as well as 9 over 0 is also math error. Okay? So yeah, that's how you can determine. Then in 1.2, yes, my God. Calculators. Yes. Can okay, use a calculator. Okay. This is simplify the ratio. 25 centimeters, 0, 0.5 meters. So we have to convert this both to centimeters or both to meters. But you always convert it to the smaller one. So one centimeter is smaller than one meter. So I'm going to convert that to centimeters. How many centimeters in a meter? 100 centimeters equal 1 meter. So if I multiply 0, 0,5 by 100, I'm going to get 50 centimeters. So what number goes into both of that remainder? 25. 25. So I divide by 25 both sides. So we have 1 is 2. Okay. The next question here we are told that In the next question, we are told that Nico earns 6,200 rand in four weeks. Okay, some of you get this pocket money was for the month. No? Sorry? Yeah, you wish. Many of you got phones over work over 20,000. Yes. So, Nico earns 4,200 per in four weeks. How much does he earn? in 13 weeks if he is paid the same rate. So in other words, I need to work out the, the, play, um, the earning per week, not so. So what we do is we say 6,200 divided by 4, which is going to give you 50 rand per week. Okay. So it's going to be 13 times 1,550 rand gives you 20,150 and you will earn in 30 weeks. Okay. In question 1.3.2, how many weeks must you work to earn 6,000, oh sorry, 4,650? So it's going to be 4,650 divided by the rate per week, which is 1,150, which gives you 3 weeks. Okay. Okay, it's fairly simple, no? When you, when you answer these questions, answer it as if you're sitting in the exam. Okay? So that you can see what you would have gotten right and the wrong, or how you see the question to be. Okay? In 1.4, two painters are asked to call for, for a painting job. That will take three days. Painter A quotes, 300 rand per day, excluding bed. 
which means to say I must still include the VAT. No? Pay the B quotes, 500, uh, 50 rand per hour, including VAT, and works eight hours per day. So by calculation, it would be cheaper, VAT is at 15%. So at point A, point A, I must work out the VAT. No? So firstly, how many days are you working for? Three days. So it's going to be three times 300, which gives you 900 then, excluding VAT. Not so? So then, if you include the VAT, it's going to be 900 multiplied by 15 over 100. Then I get an answer and I add it to 900 then. Not so? Or you can multiply it by 1, 1, 5, which is the same thing. Okay? There's 900 multiplied by, whoops, 900 multiplied by 1.15 gives us 1,035 then. 1,035. Okay. Sorry? How do you get 2,000? So you see 300 multiplied by 3, it's going to give you 900 then. Times 15 percent, so it's 15 over 100, which is 135. So 135 plus 900 gives you 1,035. That's not how it is. How do you do? I said 300 divided by 15 times 100 divided by 15. Divided by 15? Why dividing? Because of the. The vat. The vat is excluded, not included. If you exclude, you're going to divide. You're going to go in the reverse. You're not in this case. Okay. If we get paint to B, in B, 50 rand per hour, including VAT, it's going to be 50 rand times 8 hours. So for one day, it's going to earn 400 rand. Not so. It's 400 rand per day. How many days are they working for? Three days. So three times four hundred then is going to give you one thousand two hundred for the for the whole job. So who's cheaper? Therefore, painter painter A is cheaper. Okay. Yes, Michael. You got the same answer. It's fine. Anybody else? Right. Sir. Yes? Sir, you're watching you're watching the three days. For year? Yes, sir. How we wrote 30 times 8, 200 and I said 400 times 13 over 100. But now you, you, you're working out VAT here as well. Yes. But what does it say here? Paint the equal to 50 rand per hour, including VAT. So why are you calculating the VAT amount? You shouldn't. Understand? Anybody else? Okay. You look at number two. Number two point one says simplify the following if your answer with positive exponents. People, anything to the power zero is? One. One. So it's three x squared times one, which is three x squared. You could have gone straight into three x squared. No problem. And one point, uh, two point one point two. So it's going to be 4 times, let's sort out the brackets first. Negative to an odd exponent will always be? Negative. negative. So it's negative. 2 cubed is? 2 to the power 3. So 2 times 3 is, uh, 2 times 2 which is 4, times 2 which is? 8. M. 3 times 3 is? 9. 9. N. Negative? 6. So what's positive times negative? Negative? 32. M. 9. N negative 6. But that N is a negative there, that exponent on the N. So where does it belong? Numerator. I'm going to bring that down. And 32, sir. Uh, to N to the 6. Does the 32 come down? No. No. It's only if it's 32 to the minus 1. That is 1 over 32. Okay, but negative 32 is not 1 over 32. Okay? Watch out for that. Okay, you two million? Are you okay, my girl? Why are you making like you're sleeping? Huh? Phone is on charge? You got a bottle of water? And then you sleep in my class. You use all my facilities. 
Ang mga sabi na feel used na. Okay. Alright, let's carry on with our lives. The next one, one of two things can happen here. It's either show down inside the brackets first. Are you okay? So you want to get charge of one again now? No, man. Alright, so it's either we sort out inside of brackets first, or we multiply the exponents. I'm going to multiply the exponents in first. So if there's no exponent, then there's a 1 there, not so. So it's going to be x2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Y negative 1 times negative 3 is 3 over 2. Negative, uh, 2 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. Y negative 3. Not so. So what happens is, that belongs to the numerator, that belongs to the denominator, that belongs to the numerator. Do you agree with that? Why? Because of that negative on the exponents. Okay, so let's take it out. So what we have is um, y cubed, you know that y is going to remain there, that is coming up, so it's times 2 cubed times y cubed, no? that is also going up, and then this x6 is coming down. People, what is 2 cubed? 8, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. What is y cubed times y cubed? y to the 6 over x6. You guys understand? Okay? Carry on. The next one is dealing with scientific notation. Alright, so when we multiply and bases are the same, what do you do to the exponents? You add them. But 3 times 2.5, so that's going to give you 15, um, 70, uh, 60, uh, 75. No? But this was 1, there was one digit after the comma, so it's 7.5. So that's going to be 7.5 times. 10 to the exponent, negative 2 plus 5 is 3. So there's your answer. 7.5 times 10 to the 3. Yes? 7,500. Did the, the question say to write it in scientific notation or did it write it in ordinary form or anything? No, it just said leave with positive exponents. So I expected that you to have left that with exponents. But normally next to the sum we would have said if we wanted in scientific notation. Or, so that is also correct what you did. Okay. So because it wasn't specified next to the sum, I, I would have probably given it the mark. Okay. We was nice people, I man. We just want you guys to do well at maths. Man. Not so? Just you guys that don't want to, to do well, no? And you somehow see some of you nodding your head. Okay. Do 1.1.2.1.5. Uh, when we're multiplying in bases are the same, what do we do? Okay. We add the exponent. So that would give you x in plus 3n plus 2n. Not so. Times y. There's a nothing, so it's a 1 plus 4. So that's going to be x. What is n plus 2n plus 3n? 6n. And y to the? You guys understand? Alright. Next, your exponential equation. So yeah, we're gonna solve for, for, for solve the following equation. So firstly, 125 came in and as what? 5 to the exponent. 5 to the exponent 3. This is exponential equation. So the basis must be the same for the exponents to be equal. So it's 1 over. 5 cubed. Now this can go away. We go up here, not so. That's going to be 5 to the x is equal to 5 to the negative 3. Can you see the bases are the same? Yes. Therefore the exponents are equal. So x is equal to negative 3. Okay. Alright, let's carry on. Write the following number in scientific notation. 
Ah, uh, Monique, uh, the digits are the opening in front of the comma. One. Other than zero. Not so. The comma must actually lie there. Current place lying here, so I must move it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's going to be three comma four two times ten to the negative ten. Okay. All right. Question three. Question three point one. We are asked to extend the following pattern by writing down the next term only. Okay. So if you do the general term, you're not going to get no marks. Okay. I only want you to extend it. So how do I get from 30 to 9? Minus 4. Minus 4. My, so the next one I was also minus 4. It's going to give you an answer? Negative, negative 3. Negative. So negative 3 is that solution. The next one, how do I get from 8 to 2? You times it by? A quarter. You times that also by a quarter. Not so? Times it by. Or you divide it by 4. It was the same. Thing. Not so? So 1 over 8 times a quarter is 1 over 32. So that's the answer they're looking for. There. 1 over 32. Okay. 3.2. Uh, 3.2 asks to consider the number pattern. 7, 11, 15, 19 and so on. So how do I move from one term to the next? You're adding 4. You're adding 4. You're adding 4. So the term and the rule. So this is an arithmetic pattern. Okay, so what you notice is going to be Tn is equal to Tn is equal to um, A n plus Q. So your A value is 4, so it's 4 n. Now 4, 4 plus what is going to give you 7? 4 plus 3. Then we test it for term 32. It's going to be 4 times 2, which is 8 plus 3 is 11, which makes that general term. 3.2.2, it is use your general rule to determine the 100th term of the pattern. So you work out T100. So T100 is equal to 4 times 100, which is 400, plus 3 is 400 then. Okay. Question 4. Hi, come sir. Morning, how are you doing? Tired? Tired of me? No. Okay, alright. Alright, expand the following. So in other words, I'm going to get rid of the brackets. You could have said expand. Something fine, whatever. No? So it'll be 2 times A. 2A squared times A. 2A cubed. 2A times 5. And A squared. Negative 3a times a, negative 3a squared. Uh, negative 3a times 5, negative 3 Negative 15a, sorry. Not so? So what do we do now? Like terms. So you're going to be 2a cubed. Now 10a squared minus 3a squared. Positive. 7a squared minus 15. Okay. Next one is a binomial squared. So what do I do here? Write that twice, yes. Must write that twice. So that's going to give us 2x minus 3y times 2x minus 3y. So let's multiply. What do we get? 4x squared minus 6xy minus 6xy plus 9y squared. There we go. Like terms, not so. Do they cancel out? No. Yeah, why not? Signs are the same. It's only when the signs are opposite, no? Yes. So minus 6xy minus 6xy. 12xy plus 9y. Okay. 4.2. 4.2, we are told. We've got 7x minus 14 equals 0. So we take 14 over the equal sign. So it's going to be 7x is equal to 40. Divide by 7. So x equal to 2. 
4.2.2. What type of sum is this? Dinomial. For that equation, eh? So how are we going to uh, do this? We need to use the product line, not so? Yes. So here goes on the side, 1 and 1. On this on the right hand side, 1 and 77. 7 and 11. 7 and 11 are prime numbers, so can't go further than that. Okay. So, um, do we add or subtract our products? Subtract it. So it's going to be 7 minus 11 is 4. So it's 1 and a 7. A 1 and an 11. 1, 7, 1, 11. So what are this? This is going to be? X and X. What about our signs? Opposite. Opposite sign. 1 plus 1 minus. The bigger factor will be? Plus. As you can see, this is positive here. The bigger factor must be plus. Okay. The bigger product. So in other words, we got X minus 7 is equal to 0 or? x plus 11 is equal to 0. So x equal to 7, x equal to negative 11. Okay? Sum. 4.2.3. What do we do first? Bring the 1 over, nice. So, what do we get? 4x squared minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, what? What the factorization can happen there? Difference, Difference of 2 squares. So, it's going to give you qx plus 1. Now what? Nice. Two x plus one is equal to zero. Or you see, there's a zero factor rule, no? Two x minus one is equal to zero. We get over the equal sign, so two x is equal to negative one. Divide by two, so x equal to negative. We get over the equal sign, so two x is equal to one. So x equal to Okay, let's look at 4.2.4. What's your LCM here? 12 is the LCM, not so. LCM is 12. So that must be multiplied by 3. That must be multiplied by 4. That's over 1, so it must be multiplied by 12. That must be multiplied by 1. Not nothing, 1. So in other words, that will be 3 into 5a plus the many times by 4, so it's four, 2 into 4 equals 4 times 12 minus 1 times a minus 3. Can you see that, people? Yes. What do you notice also? I've dropped the denominator. Then only you drop the denominator in an equation. Okay, otherwise you can't drop the denominator. Okay. So what do we do now? Multiply, get rid of the brackets. Not so? Yes. So what do we get? 15a plus a equals 48 minus a plus 3. Now what? A is one side, numbers are the side. So a goes that way, numbers go that way. So you're going to get 15a plus a is equal to 48 plus 3 minus a. So what is 15a plus a equals 43. Now what? Divide by 16. So therefore, a is equal to 43 over 16. Is that correct? Who got that answer? Okay, now I'm feeling better, no? So, 
sorry. You want to write it as improper, like a mixed number, sorry. If that is improper. You want to write it in decimal, you want to write it in, doesn't mean it's up to you. Okay. But normally you will see, I would leave it in this form. And the last question, come girls. We are told that a liter bottle of Coke is two and cheaper than a two liter bottle. A one liter bottle of Coke is two and cheaper than a two liter bottle. Four one liter bottles and seven two liter bottles cost. Generate an equation to solve an equation and solve it to determine how much each size of bottle costs. So what we do is we always let the smaller one be x. So let the one liter, um, the cost of one liter equals x rand. No? So then the, no, no, which one is, yeah, it's cheaper, no? Then the two liter bottle. If the two, if the one liter bottle is cheaper than the two liter bottle, then the two liter bottle is two rand more than the one liter. Not so? It will be x plus 2. Then we are told 4 1 liter bottles. So 4 1 liter bottles and 7 2 liter bottles. So you give an answer? 80. Not so. So what do we have here? What is, the, what is the 1 liter? x. So it's 4 times x plus 7 times x plus 2 equals 80. Becomes a simple equation from it. Multiply, get rid of the brackets. So that's going to give you 4x plus 7x plus 40 equals 8t. You take that over. Looks like you're going to get 66 now. That's going to give you 11x equals 66. Is that correct? Yes. Divided by 11. So therefore, x is equal to 6 rand. So one, bottle, one liter bottle of Coke is six. six that's impossible. Or well, maybe, listen, this was many, a couple of years ago. You say not 23. Okay. So the one liter, therefore, the one liter is going to be six rand, whilst the two liter is going to be eight rand. All right, people, you guys understand? So for tomorrow's lesson, I would like you guys to complete question 5. Question 5, so this is the graph question, which many of us have problems with, not so? You got question 6. Okay, so question 5. So well, I could have given you this, pay, this question as well. So it's a fairly short question. Okay, so um, question five and six for tomorrow, as well as the first half of paper two. Okay, which is up until question three. Yeah, till question three, okay? All right, so you guys can get started with it now. We'll call you row by row to check you guys on track, okay? Stop the video at this point.